Another exciting day at the Vice Grip Lodge. We're getting a bathroom in the shop. Just got done loading up some two by fours. But you know what? I'll bring you guys along. So we're gonna be putting a restroom in the shop there finally. It's something we've needed since day one. And we're up here at Lois's Improvement. I don't know who she is, but they got a lot of lumber. We gotta get two by fours and two by sixes and hopefully tin and material and screws and doodabs and a stool and all sorts of stuff. So let's go ahead and get shopping. Just got done picking up some two by fours here. Uh, they're just common 96 inch two by fours here pre-cut just save a little bit make sure they didn't have any crowns curls bands or too many knots in them now we got to get some two by sixes for the ceiling and uh right here i guess oh it's right next to me we'll uh, load up some of them I took some basic measurements try not to go over too much on lumber don't want to have a ton of extra basically not quite sure what we've got planned for the ceiling yet, so I want to try to stay away from this stuff right here in case we do exposed beams. We might seal it up, we might not. So uh, same thing, got to dig through all of these, make sure that they don't have any weird bands or crowns in them this way, and try to stay away from this stuff if we can. It takes quite a bit of digging. We were way up in the stack on the 2 by 4s but I'm seeing some good promise here. I'm gonna start digging through these, see what I can find. We got our two by sixes up. Doing pretty good so far. We're gonna need like three carts, I think. I know. We had to go out in the parking lot and say, hey sir, can I return your cart for you? And he's like, sure. Well, we just needed one. Anyway, we need a sill now. So we're gonna go ahead and go with green treated. This stuff is pre-treated. It keeps the rot down as much as possible. So this will be going right on the concrete. And I got to get some sill seal, some foam uh, from underneath this as well. But got to grab some sticks of this. I think we'll probably be out of the lumber area for now. So we're just flying by the seat of our britches here and uh, walk down this aisle. Because it's like maybe plywood, maybe sheetrock. I know I want to do a metal wainscot. It has that cool industrial look, kind of farmhouse look. But also it's practical. So when we stack boxes or hit it with forklifts or mini bikes, you know, we're not knocking holes in sheetrock. We found this shiplap section and Jessica has decided on these colors right here. We both agree that this dark would be a primary, this would kind of be a secondary color. And then we'll just splash in some white and kind of a granite stone color here and there just for some bright contrast. And then this would be more of like the trim, you know, the floor, the, any of that stuff that we need to do. Uh, but now we got to go figure out a uh, hand sink, a urinal, and a stool. So we got to figure out what we want to do there. Grab some pecs and uh, a little bit of wiring. And also got some screws down here on our other cart. Just trying to get the bulk of the stuff here. And the rest of it we'll get at our local hardware store. Give those guys some business. Well, we're back at the depot of homes. Doing some late night shopping contractor is here he's got some fantastic ideas we are on the same exact page needed some more goodies before he got dialed in though and he's gonna work pretty late tonight actually so we drove down here to pick up some more stuff we've got some Romex some boxes some breakers because we got to add a hot water heater going with a 20 gallon or no this is a 10 gallon excuse me and some different color this is still 12 2 but we're gonna do an exposed beam ceiling, something that I did years ago in Roger's shop, if you remember Roger's Weifel, and uh, we did some episodes out of his place, but same kind of ceiling there. We've got some Hampton Bay lights, kind of some steampunk kind of stuff. We're kind of going for that farmhouse industrial steampunk look. Got this cool lantern we're gonna hang outside of the door, and uh, we got the old gas smasher. We're going to put one of those in, cap for the old sink, some glue, and we got a whole bunch of wood down here we have to pick up. Instead of sheetrock screws, picking up these exterior deck and fence screws just for miscellaneous utilities and mountain boxes and things of that nature. I got you, man. All right. Got to get the death for the truck. We got a handle set here 
I kind of like this straight look. There's a couple more bucks, but kind of just like a pipe handle look. Got some door shims. Cheapest pre-hung door we could find. I cannot believe what these cost anymore. Of course, it's been a while since I hung a door. Some more 2x4s to fur out the east wall and then some tongue and groove. That's going to be our ceiling instead of OSB or sheetrock. I think that's going to look great. And I got a surprise coming for you on the wood. We're going to do something pretty neat here. Well, it's the next day. Jessica, where are we at again? One guess. <laughs> We're at the lowest in store again. Uh, picking up some tin. We finally found some. I actually walked right by it yesterday. I didn't see it. Instead of the full corrugated, the old school, I'm kind of going with this different look. It, it's not as shiny, and I just think it's going to look a little bit different, but give us the same effect. And I had to get some more uh, shiplap and trim board for Kyle, who, by the way, last night, I can't wait to show you guys this, he framed out the whole thing last night and got the beams in for the ceiling. So when we get back to the house, I'm going to show you guys that. It's moving really, really quickly. His specialty is really cabinets and sinks and things like that. He hand makes all of that. So he just wanted to quick get the framing up and get the structure done or the skeleton so he could really do his artistic flair on the inside. We're going to get this loaded up really quick. Probably go get some tacos. And Starbucks. Coffee. Shoot back home and I'll show you guys the progress. Well, Longmire is earning its keep today. Jessica's been wheeling it. We're trying to put a bunch of miles on this thing because we're hoping that Jessica can take it on power tour and we just want to keep shaking things down. We've been making improvements here and there. Um, she's kind of thinking she might want EFI on this because it is a cold-blooded sucker. Yes. And uh, you know how to play with the choke and all sorts of stuff. And straight six with the EFI, that'd be pretty cool, you know. Uh, I've done it before, it makes a tremendous improvement, not only for power, but you know, ease of starting and the MPGs and all that. And then also, she wants to get the death tank out of here, fuel tank. Yep. Right back here. <laughs> so I might do some sort of custom tank in the bed or in the frame rails or something like that. Yeah, get rid of this situation too that's like. Yeah, make it shorter. Yeah, I think like right about there would be perfect. Yeah. So there's some things we want to do, but man, we are enjoying it. We put the miles on this thing. Big updates on the bathroom here. I'm going to show you in just a second. But before I get to that, you might be wondering, how did I find Kyle and Barry? Well, I put out an SOS on the Insta Lighter and the Face Space. And I said, look, I don't have time to build this bathroom. And we were overwhelmed with responses. But Kyle, you know, he followed directions and provided work. And we had some great conversations. And the next thing you know, he's done. Where'd you come from? Mississippi? Louisiana? Clinton, Mississippi. Clinton, Mississippi. Drove his RV up here and motorcycle. Maybe we'll go get the ride. I don't know. We'll see if we got time. But let me show you where we're at right now. He's been just hauling on this. So here's the corner bath. I can't remember the dimensions. What is it approximately? -ish. Eight by six. Eight by six. And this is all that ship lap we picked up. And this is exactly what I was thinking. Just splashes of contrast and different color. That's like a like a Hampton Bay cheap light or something like that. Tin wainscoting. It's looking really, really good. He's got it trimmed out here. Those boards. That's going to be the exhaust vent I'll show you in a minute. Basic 2 by 6s but hit them with a torch. Licked them up a little bit. We'll come back and stain that. And that's that tongue and groove. So now I've got a bunch of storage up there. Neat little overhangy do-dabber thing up front here. And we're going to have tons of space in here. So this is where that old sink used to be that leaked on the floor constantly. And also where we had that water line break. It sat this way. So this was that sink. This was the mirror. And that was that Buick uh, clock that was up there. I think we're going to twist it this way. Because Kyle also makes custom cabinets. And does some phenomenal stuff. I can't wait to show you this. He's going to build a countertop and cabinet over here. And also maybe a head knocker or something over here. We haven't quite decided. But there's going to be a stool here. Got to have a urinal, fellas, right? So we're going to put a urinal in here and sink. So if I stand on this edge, you can see how much room we're going to have. Nice wide door here going in instead of something skinny or the standard door. So that's going to be nice. And then this is going to be a chair rail 
Are you thinking live edge on this or just two by four? Uh, some kind of two by four with a nice uh, mitered edge on it. Oh, okay. So a mitered edge two by four, just kind of a chair rail to bump out. We looked at this right away when we were opening the door. He's gonna make sure that that fits. Everything is kosher there, but it's looking great. We've got, you guys might not agree on this, but I picked up black because who's gonna clean that? You know, once a year maybe. So we got black sink, black toilet, black urinal. This is some stuff that he's gonna make a countertop out of. It's just beautiful. Look at that edge. That's pretty cool. He brought all that with him actually. And more stuff over here. And I picked up some three quarter inch cedar yesterday. And this is all you need to build a cabinet, huh? Wow. Four inch oak. Or oak, excuse me, not cedar. It's gonna be cool seeing that. Really? Yeah. So unfortunately when this stuff got delivered by that jungle website, it uh you know it's a three piece lid over here. Uh, yeah. I don't know how that happens still, but so we're gonna have to go lidless. Actually we'll just wrap some duct tape around it for now. But I think we're trying to get a replacement. And that was in a big old box like this. Yeah, it was in this one and it's still Still got crushed or something. Well, that's unfortunate, but yeah, we'll get her figured out though. You can see here he started on the cabinet process. This is gonna look so nice when it's done. Probably two big open doors we're thinking for storage. And then we'll have that black big utility sink over here. And I think the, I don't know what the measurement is, but I imagine that's gonna come kind of across here. Bathroom updates. We got trinkets and doodads and whatnots, antiques and things going up, some shelving. Yeah, the urinal is in. This is gonna be fantastic to have in here with all the guys that are always out here hanging out. And they're moving on. We gotta get the in here yet. This is an old intercom system. We're gonna wire into the house so you can push a button and yell at people in the house. I don't know. Help! Need more hand towels. For example, exhaust fans in. Over here we got the sink. Went with black, of course. But look at this cabinet. Hand made. Look at this top. Absolutely gorgeous with the live edge here. And I think he's going to put some sort of poly or something on that. Doors, plates, or tags, some of you might call them. Antique wrenches for handles. We got this old barn wood. And I guess it's not even barn. Well, maybe it is. It's old wood. Reclaimed stuff. Some tags is kind of a backsplash around the mirror here. Got this light. This is off of a uh, swap meet. It used to be attached to a big board, like a desk. We took that off and just ran it through. So this will kind of be the vanity light now. Jessica likes to do her hair and whatnot. It's, you know, over there. But it's coming along great. Guys had to run and get more boards for the walls in here. This stuff here, I guess I, I miscalculized, okay? Gotta be honest. So they gotta get this finished up. And then we might put a head knocker covered up here that's gonna match this. And then we could put, you know, paper and accoutrements and whatnots and doodabs up into that, kind of just storage there. And then I gotta decide what to do with the door um, all of these I need to stain still and might end up doing that with the door as well. Haven't quite yet decided. And then out here, we're going to have a little office area. We're going to use this top. Mr. Gates, he's, uh, one of my friends, a vendor, belts, belts and whatnots, gave me this top, which is really cool. It's like nuts and bolts and screws. 
and we're going to build a base for that essentially throw that up over here and then a guy has a place to swing in on a chair and order up some parts you know what i mean and then i got some really cool lights also got from a swap meet let me see if i can find those quick here they are right here look at this those are cool this is all stuff that you guys have sent that we hang on to and we're going to try to utilize in some way or another but these were new in the box isn't that cool they're very delicate they're not really going to throw off a lot of light it's more of just a look or a vibe as kids say and i might put those on either side of the desk up here and then just hang some more antiques and stuff like that but overall it's coming along great i'm loving the way it's looking i think it's going to be really cool when it's done oh. we decided to do a little nod to the tv show this ought to look cool Oh yeah. I love that smell. Absolutely. Bentley's gonna add some more color to the door here. Now we could stain this a nice color, huh? Oop, hit the clicker. Clicker? Red button. This wall is coming along nicely. You threw a switch in for me. And uh, we'll be able to throw on the mood lights up here, you know. And then uh, we'll have a big gang box here, four outlets for plugging in computer boxes and the boom booms and the cameras and all that stuff. It's coming along pretty good. And inside, we got lots of siding going up. This wall's done. Ship lap. Looking really good. Be a shelf up here. Oh, that light's going. Nice. Like that. Urinal is done and works. Hey. So he makes these cabinets, designs and constructs them all himself. It's pretty neat watching these come together. This is the front side, I'm assuming? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and these little champion molds I just made. And we go in there and wow. Out. It's nice. You know, he's going to make another door similar to ones on the vanity or whatever we're calling it over there. Yep. It's going to look slick. There's Our a tag doors. Yeah. We got a pile of plates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's hard to choose which ones. But so hard. Yeah. Maybe we switch them out annually. We just uh, yeah. pop, right. pop in some new ones. Just some screws. Yeah. Oh, that's great. What kind of wood is this? Uh, this is oak. This is red oak. Red oak. We're Man, I wish you guys trim, could uh, smell this. Yeah, we're going to trim that door so that it too hard pine. Nice. Right there it is. Right, right there behind you. Oh, yeah. And we'll run this around that door. Oh, yeah, that's, that's beautiful. Door. You can show them how we're going to do it all right here. And a couple of plates we'll put kind of behind it. Yeah. And then we'll Just trim like it with some antique heart pine around it, make it all real pretty, and cover up that real edge. Nice. That's how we'll do it. Exciting. Got Bentley's torch door up. Looking real good there. And this wall over here has got the wood up. And then I picked this kind of antique looking, that's actually a floor vent, but we use it for the exhaust vent. And yes, we didn't we didn't exhaust the you know the toot toot sucker outside. I didn't want a hole in the building, so everybody else can share the experience out here. And then again, this will be the lights 
and I'll let it switch. And uh, he might make another cabinet for this top, hopefully yet. We'll see, but it'd be nice having a little area I could sit down and actually uh, do some work. A little, up maybe an inch. Look at this cabinet. Holy smokes. Beautiful. Got all the storage we need now. And it matches the other one down here. Hanging up a towel rack. We're using our old square body steering wheel. Hang some towels on that. We went back and forth. And it's a little tight over there, so we're gonna go over here. And he's gonna put some poly on this chunk of wood here. That's gonna look really nice. And then, I don't, do we varnish these, you think, or just leave them? They're such nice wood. Yeah, yeah, we'll varnish them so they don't soak anything. I, don't, I would, wouldn't want to stain them. So I think we'll just seal them up. Okay. Let it speak for itself. It's looking great. Bathroom's looking so good. Started cleaning up in here a little bit. He's gonna come back and put a two-part epoxy on the countertop here. Got the wheel hung up. They're fixing to put up a another shelf up here, another live edge shelf. Looks so good. And then start hanging up some things. My buddy Josh made these. They are so cool. We're gonna put one here, another one here. Start hanging up some of this decor. I've got a bunch of antiques and stuff oil cans and tools and parts we're gonna start hanging in here got the old eagle gas can up there but kyle and his buddies are doing an amazing job exactly what i envisioned had the run of the town do some business and the guys surprised me hung up the clock man cave clocks made that for me and it's beautiful and it's huge it's hard to show the size but man that is a nice size clock uh, got that cheap at a swap meet. A fan gave me that at the Iola Car Show. Thank you very much. That's really cool. Independence, of course, the iconic Independence. And the guys are in here right now hanging up these signs. They got measuring tapes out and all sorts of stuff. All right, I'm going to put one screw in. We need to get the level. Well, for now, the bathroom is done. There's still a few things left to do, but let's check this thing out. Loved how the bathroom turned out. Big thank you to Kyle for understanding my creativeness and we kind of had a lot of the same ideas which made it nice. This was significantly cheaper than having a commercial bathroom with sheetrock and false ceiling and yada yada put in. This saved me a ton of money. Big big thank you to Kyle and his friends. We're not done yet though. All this wood needs to be sealed or varnished. Uh, same with the cabinetry on the inside. We still have a custom cabinet or desk that needs to be built out here with that for a top. Got to get these lights and switches going here. But for now, we're going to call it good. Kyle's going to come back later and finish all that up. And, of course, I'll update you guys then. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate you very much. We'll see you soon.